The Member of Parliament for Ashaman NS Nogbe has sued the Electoral Commission for refusing to furnish him with information on records of proceedings for the procurement of the new electoral equipment. He wanted to know the processes the Electoral Commission adopted prior to contracting the services of Dr. Foreje, IT consultant and Aacrofi procurement consultant, and whether the said procurements were done in accordance with Part 6 of the Public Procurement Act. The MP is among uh, a couple of Ghanaians who have criticized the Electoral Commission's attempt to procure a new voter management system, which consultants recommended. The Electoral Commission, in rejecting the request, said, quote, an applicant seeking to access information under this act, that's the right information, shall pay the fee or charge approved by Parliament in accordance with the fees and charges, that's Miscellaneous Provisions Act 2009, Act 793. Now, the man, uh, Ernest Nogbe, is joining us on the telephone. Now, this... This is what the Electoral Commission's response is to you, uh, Mr. Nogbe. How do you react to this? Uh, well, uh, good afternoon to you, and good afternoon to your viewers. Uh, basically, because of we have a spot, that is why I'm in court now to seek the directive of the court to compare them to provide me with those informations. Uh, you and I know very well that we pass the right to information bill into act, and it is enforced. And even under the 1992 Constitution, Article 21, one can request for any information, one has the right to request for any information in any public office. So, when the Electoral Commission responded to me somewhere a month ago, uh, that because fees and charges were not approved in Parliament, they will not be able to provide me with this information, I saw it was very absurd and very irrational on their part to come out with that conclusion, because uh, before even the Right to Information Act, we were still requesting for information from public offices under the 1999 Article 21. So uh, basically, the only option left to me is to go to the court to compare them to provide those information, uh, the procurement information, the procedures that they use in procuring the, the services of those two consultants, and, and also by awarding contracts to uh, Carly's uh, uh, company for providing the BVMs and then the DVDs, and also the, the, the website, the, 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 the software for, for the compilation of the new voters register. As much of the Electoral Commission has been explaining their position on this over and over again. Uh, so what, what's the end objective? of this suit that you are applying again for? Yeah, I think they, they might be explaining their point over and over again, but that does not mean that they should break the rules. That does not mean that they should, they, they, they should stampede the rules and regulations that are provided in statute books. The Public Procurement Act states it clearly under Part 6 that if you want to engage the services of any consultant, you must follow the due process. And as I speak with you, what I know for a fact is that the Electoral Commission did not follow those due process and uh, have to uh, advertise the procedure in uh, any of the daily graphics at least twice or even once as amended in the uh, 2016 Procurement Act. So they have not followed those procedures and I've given them the benefit of the doubt to provide me with information as to whether they have uh, followed the procedure which they decline of going so. So therefore, my only uh, uh, other option is to go to the court to compare them to provide those information to me and see whether they followed the part six of the Public Procurement Act. And as I said earlier, the mere fact that they have explained, their explanation may be reasonable that they need to compile a new voter's register and does not preclude them from following the due process under the Access History Public Procurement Act. Okay. Mr. Nogbe, thank you for your time. So, it's it's afternoon. We'll see how this pans out. Uh, Extremely grateful. And as Harry Nogbe is a member of parliament for the Ashama constituency.